Hey, Heidi here, and I am very excited. I'm going to read you um, a quick kid's book. Now, if you um, have been following me a few weeks ago, I read you this book, and um, everybody asks, it's called What Do You Do With an Idea? So if you haven't seen it yet, go back. You can check it out. Um, but this one is by the same author, and it's called Trying. So as you come on, please say hi. Um, and I want to give you just a little brief explanation about why I'm reading you this book, um, because I hope it inspires you, but also, um, and let me know if you, if you like this kind of thing, because I feel like as I'm teaching you how to run a paint party business, as I'm teaching you how to make money online with your creative talents, a lot of times we can get so in our head that we are, we just stop, we paralyze. Let me know if you have ever been paralyzed in a situation where you want to do something really great, but you're terrified. Um, hey, Linda. Hey, Colette. Hey, Irene. Oh, I'm so glad you're on here. Hello. Hello. Thank y'all for saying hi. And I can see your comments. So I'm happy about that. Um, so I wanted to take a minute to just um, share this with you because me and Pixie read it and it really, really meant a lot. It meant so much that I bought um, three copies of this for Christmas presents, and then I bought this one because I just, again, you'll see why in just a second. And um, okay, yes, Sarah says all, yes, all the time. Yeah, I totally get it. I mean, it's crazy because we, we get this excitement. We wanna do you know fun stuff. We wanna paint cool stuff. And then all of a sudden our fear gets in the way. And then we have this voice inside of our head saying, we can't do this or we can do this. And, and it just, I think it's hard because a lot of times our family does not understand. They don't understand that we want to start this paint party business. Or like many of you that are going to be taking this um, free training with me on January 5th, let me know if you have signed up for the January 5th free training. Um, if you haven't, just put online and then we'll make sure you get the link. Just put online training and it's all about teaching you how to build your online creative business. Um, so let me know if that's you, if you're taking it. And I know a lot of times we want to do something like that, but we're, we're terrified. And then we go to tell our friends or our family. I mean, I am an example right now that I have most of my family still has no idea what I'm doing. Like they have no idea. Um, and so I want you to know that you're not alone. Okay. And so I hope this book helps you. Um, hey, Debbie. Hello. Hello. Hey, Yvette. Hey, Kate. Kate says, yep, I've signed up. Yes, Sherry says, I'm on the list. I signed up. I can't wait. So exciting. Yes, put online training. Um, or if you want to kind of take it more in your own hands, if you're an action taker like me, as you can tell, I've been painting this morning because I paint all of my arms. Um, if you're an action taker like me, if you text the word online, we will send, it should send automatically back the link to sign up for that. Hey, Annie. Annie just did her first. Y'all, we need to congratulate Annie. She actually just did a um, paint party and she had her name in a marquee. It was so cool. I was like, that would be so, so fun. And yes, yeah, so just put online training. That's going to happen on January 5th. And then I'm about to read this book. And during the book, I'm not going to um, like say your names because I really want y'all to like listen to the book and hear the book. But real quick, January 5th, what's going to happen? Um... Oh, Santa Claus, Georgia, Laura. I love that. Awesome. Um, so for those of y'all that, um, that have ever heard of Paint Party Outer Limits, it's my once a year course. So if you have been interested in it, January 5th is a totally free training. But I want to let you know up front, at the end of that free training, um, I'll tell you all about Outer Limits. And if you want to learn how to to take your creativeness and turn it into something online. I would love to share that with you. And everybody's congratulating Annie. That's awesome. And then let's see. And um, Teresa says, hi, Heidi. Yes, fear in my mind going in so many directions. Oh, my gosh. Last night, I, I attended a three-hour business conference online. I was up till about 1030 and just frantically taking notes and excited and just so many things. And Teresa, I had to like, like calm myself down. So I was like, okay, maybe that's for 2022. Maybe that's for 2023. I had to like calm myself down. Um, and then Lisa says, OMG, yes, I was terrified at the first paint party, but after a few, it's getting easier. That's amazing. And Colette says she needs to sign up. If you just type online training or you just text the word online to me, we'll get that to you. Okay.
Y'all ready for this? I hope this helps you. I hope it helps you. Okay, so I'm going to read this book. And then I know the last time I read this, I got so many messages of people saying they um they had their kids or their grandkids or it really touched them. So I hope this helps you. It's called Trying. And it's by Kobe Yamada. Trying by Kobe Yamada. And I'm going to just read the story. So let me move my paint out of the way. I'm just going to read the story and then I'll um, kind of talk to y'all right after. But I just want to make sure that I don't interrupt the story with my with my banter. Okay, let me see if I can get it here. And this really touched me in Pixie. So I, re- I hope it really helps you. And again, sometimes going back to kids' books really helps make things just a little bit easier to understand. Trying by Kobe Yamada. How do you do that? I didn't realize I had said it out loud, but the sculptor looked over and replied, you simply do it. Oh no, I could never do that. How do you know? He asked. I just know. Confused, I walked away. He must be joking, I thought. But as I left, I couldn't help wondering what it would be like to create something so incredible. When I returned, the sculptor looked over at me and asked, how is your sculpture coming along? I'm just here to watch. The best way to give your talents an opportunity is to try, he responded. I'd rather just watch. I can't mess things up if I just watch. Ah, yes, he nodded. If you do nothing, it feels safe. But everything stays the same. If you do nothing, there's less to experience, less to love, and less to learn. The fear of failing is the scariest part and it stops most people from starting. The only way to get to where you wanna go is to take that step in that direction. And the best way to do that is to begin. It was all I could think about. Even as I slept, I dreamt of creating beautiful things. I was excited to get started, but as I was working, I realized that something was wrong. With every strike, I felt a little more deflated. With every blow, my disappointment grew. This was not turning out the way I'd imagined. What, why did I think I could do it? Why had I let myself care about this so much? The next time I saw the sculptor, he asked me about my work. I told him I was no good and that I had to quit. Why would you do that? He asked. Because it feels awful to want something so badly and then just be disappointed. Yes, the sculptor replied. Disappointment hurts, but failure is temporary and in many ways necessary. It shows us how something can't be done, which means we are a little closer to finding out how it can. When you first tried to walk, you fell, but you picked yourself up again and tried again. You were willing to fail over and over and over, and that is why you succeeded. How do I know this? You're standing in front of me now. I had tried and I had failed. Now he was asking me to try again. What good would that do? I had already proven I couldn't do it. But if I was honest, I wanted to believe I could. So even though I worried that I wasn't good enough, I decided to try again. I worked and worked, then worked some more. And while I could see it was a little better, it still wasn't at all what I wanted it to be. I stormed up to the sculptor. See, I told you I wasn't any good, and this proves it. Are you happy now? Yes, he replied, I'm happy. It is good to see you sculpting, but it's terrible. I don't even know what I'm making anymore. You're making progress, he explained. 
I see talents emerging. I see risk being taken. I see courage. I see caring. I see perseverance. Yes, I see much progress indeed. And I hope you will keep trying. I tried again. And again. And again. As I stepped back and looked at my work, I had to admit I wished I was better. I went to talk to the sculptor and he asked me to go for a walk with him. He said, I know it can be hard when things don't turn out as how you hoped, but be proud of your failures. I know I am every one of them. I can't imagine you ever failing. He laughed more times than I can count. But each time you fail, you get a little stronger, a little smarter, a little braver. The truth is we are all failures. The dreamers, the doers, the creators. Being a failure means you love something, you cared. It means you stepped forward, you didn't hold back, you tried. That is why I brought you here. He gestures to the statues around him. These are my friends. These are my failures. And I'm grateful for every one of them because they helped me to become who I am today. I will tell you a secret, the sculptor confided. I am now much closer to the end of my life than the beginning. And time passes whether we have the courage to do something good and worthwhile or we don't. It's been years since he's been gone. I will always treasure the time I spent with him and I will never forget our conversations or what he taught me. When we make it safe to fail, we make it safe to succeed. How will I do that? Oh, I love this part. So the next person is coming in to learn. Isn't that so good? Oh, I love whenever you are watching this and it gets totally quiet. Um, so the next person is coming in. So as he left, now this person's going to be able to teach this new person um, how it's okay to keep trying and to keep failing because that's how you're going to get to success. So for those of you um, that are listening, I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments. I need to know if you'd like this kind of stuff, if it does help you. And if it doesn't, I won't. I'll just go go straight to painting and um, and talking about business. But every once in a while, I just want to mix it up. And, um, and when me and Pixie, we were on the floor of a Barnes and Nobles reading this, and I literally had like chills when I saw that next person come in and said, how do I do that? And last night, you know, um, Bobby, he loves TikTok and he was on TikTok and every, um, every day at night, he like finds the top five TikToks of the day to show me. So usually like we'll lay in bed and Pixie will lay in bed and he'll go, okay, here's the five I, I you know, pointed out for you today that I thought you would like. And so we would, um, you know, we would go through them and one of them was an artist and sh he showed me, he goes, look at how talented she is. And he showed me all of these drawings that she had done. And I was just blown away. I was like, there's no way in a million years. And then he goes, now look at this TikTok. And she had done a TikTok that showed like age four, age seven, age eight. And it was like, barely you know it was it was like him and his sculpture and these you know cats that he was sculpting and now he was barely doing it and then by the time she got to age 32 which is where she is now she's doing these massive massive things and i thought you know here it is we you know and like the the guy said in the book you know we have this long life whether we want to do something great with it or not that's our choice but you have to try. And when you try, you're going to fail. And part of failure is success, but you're going to get better and better every time. And um, let's see, Tony says, thanks, Heidi. I needed that today, not for creating, but for the business side. Yes, again, that's why I'm here. I'm here to help you with, with of course, painting, but also I love teaching you how to make money doing this. So whether it's through paint parties or online. So yes, the business side, there's going to be things that we do um, that we literally like, 
fail at over and over and over again. There is something right now. And Carol says, I think you're reading these inspirational stories is awesome. Oh, good. Yeah, I hope that um, I hope that y'all like this. And um, Marina says, enjoyed it and reminds me us our feelings reminds us our feelings are real. Of course. Yes, this is how we all feel. We all feel this way. And Kate says, yes, I love new ways to inspire me. Oh, good. I'm so, so glad. Thank you all so much. And um, Linda says, oh, my Heidi, I <laughs> bought three of your last book. What do you do with an idea? Can't wait to share them. I know, right? Like these two, I bought um, three of these two for a bunch of Christmas presents for nieces and nephews. And then this is the next one in it. So, so good. Um, Pauline says, it doesn't matter what it is in life. If we don't try, we'll never know. At 50, I learned to play piano and now with painting parties and selling, etc. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, Pauline, I love that. Um, and Tony, yeah, mine isn't where I'd hoped to yet. A friend pointed out that I haven't been consistent this last year. Yeah, sometimes a, a mirror, you know, sometimes that can be hard too, Tony. I totally get that. And um, sometimes that can be hard if we're pointing out um, areas where maybe we aren't consistent. Um, on that business thing last night, it was like a three hour business conference. And like I said, I stayed up really late last night watching it and learning. And it said, you know, mark down like all the things that you're doing. So like as a wife, as a mom, as a husband, as a, um, as a business owner, as a boss, as a sister, as a lady, and you know, we can put so much pressure and I'm, I'm not here to, to make you put all this pressure on yourself. I'm not saying that. Um, I'm just saying that like, if we want something different in our life, we have to be open and honest with where we're at so we can figure out where we need to go. And so I looked at like, you know, okay, where are my business? And, and honestly, y'all, there is something behind the scenes that, that none of y'all know about that I have been working on for well over a year and I still have not gotten it right. I still keep failing. And every time I go, ah, this is going to be the death of me. Like I just, I get so frustrated and I go, okay, this is, this time it's going to be right. And then I do it. And then I was like, ah, not, it's not working. Like, I mean, so I can tell you even from experience, like right now, real time, there's something um, in the, the, in my business side that I keep getting wrong. I keep failing. I keep going, like taking a step back, reapproaching it with new ideas, taking a step back, reapproaching it and keep trying. So I think really, just, you know, knowing that it's okay to give yourself grace, to know that this isn't something that we just do and it happens overnight. When you're trying to build a paint party business or an online business with your creative talents, um, it's not something that just, bam, I'm done. I'm the world's best, world's best cup of coffee, right? Like it's, that's not it. That's not how it works. And so I really want you to remember that it's, it's all about the process and and last little thing I want to share with you and then um and then I'll um I'll go but I really want you um just curious what that is on your arm oh I've been painting um an umbrella this morning for paint party headquarters for a tutorial and so I have paint on my arm here I have paint on my arm here <laughs> I have paint everywhere <laughs> so Christy yeah that's what it is definitely. Um, oh, Stacy, I'm so happy. She says, I just found you on YouTube yesterday and you inspire me with your joy. Oh, thank you for saying that. Um, and then just curious what that line is on your arm. Oh, yeah. No, it's not as great. It's paint. I just need to wash it off. I just have paint everywhere. There's paint everywhere. Um, it's all over. <laughs> oh, thank you, Victoria. You're so, so sweet. Um, there was something I was going to tell y'all. I got distracted with my paint on my arm. Um, and um, let's see, I hate it where I'm at. I just need to get past the holidays and get motivated. Oh, Majory. Okay, so first off, I want everybody to just take a deep breath. <sighs> okay. And um, we have had, as a human race in the past couple of years, we have had quite, quite, quite the experience, to say the least. So I want you right now to just pat yourself on the back for just, just being here. Okay. I just want you to pat yourself on the back for, for surviving, for, um, getting up every day and, and knowing that, you know, if, if you're watching the news, I mean, the news has, you know, obviously, um, put everybody, you know, just in this high, low, high, low, high, low. 
And so I really want you first off to give yourself some grace. Okay. Um, I know there is real stuff out there happening, but I also know there is a lot of positive, great, amazing things happening that we are not hearing about. So I want you to, to give yourself grace. And I want you to know that regardless of where you're at right now, that you have, you have a choice every moment to go, okay, maybe I'm not where I want to be right now, but I can be where I want to be. So I want you to remember that, you know, no matter what has happened this past year, no matter what has happened in your business, what, no matter what has happened, we always have the ability to wake up, to have a new choice of how we want to, um, to per, like perspective, how we want to see things today, how we want to make things happen, how we want to take the next little step. In the conference I was listening to last night, one of the guys said, dream big but take small steps, you know, dream big. You want to do a huge online business. You want to do a paint party business, whatever, dream big, but just take the next small step. You don't have to take the next 50 steps that you see somebody else online doing. You just got to take the next step. And then the next step's going to lead you to the next one. And then, you know, in a year's time, two years time, five years time, you're going to have taken hundreds of little steps that have led you to something that you have created that you can't even imagine. But if we're scared and we don't try because we're scared, we're never going to get to that next step. So, um, so I'm just going to read a couple more comments and then yes, Linda, definitely. Um, oh, thank you, Irene. Um, Annie says, last year I sat back and watched all of you in PPHQ go, go, go. I was wondering what was all the fuss. Now I know it. And man, I love it. <laughs> I'm telling you, Annie, it's like, it's so, so cool. And um, the feeling of, um, you know, Annie just had her first paint party. And again, I know a lot of you are getting excited and signing up for this free training we have on, on January 5th. And it's going to be teaching you the online side of things. So a lot of you know me from teaching you how to do paint parties. But once you start to know me, you start to realize like, oh, wait, Heidi knows a lot about online marketing. And she knows a lot about emails. And she knows a lot about texting. And she knows a lot of that stuff because I devote a lot of my time learning that stuff. Besides trying to keep up with Brad Pitt, because somebody's got to keep up with Brad Pitt in the Us Weeklies. Besides doing that, the rest of my time is spent learning and growing and trying to learn as much as I can so I can not only grow my business, but help you grow yours. And, um, and so Annie did her first um, in-person paint party. And the reason now she's saying, you know, now I know what all the fuss is about. Y'all, there is nothing more powerful, nothing more powerful than a woman on a mission. Like there is nothing more powerful than that. And when you can build that confidence when you do your first paint party when you do something really really cool and um, online when you you know show up for a facebook live and you have people watching you read a story you know and, and you're thinking like i mean i was nervous are y'all gonna like ah oh, she ain't painting i'm not watching that right like you know when you do something that actually works and you get that confidence boost and you go oh my gosh i'm able to do this and help somebody and um, there is nothing that's going to stop you. You're going to keep failing and keep failing and keep trying and keep trying till you get it right. So I just cannot stress enough. Like you've got to start somewhere. There was a time when I had one follower on Texas Art and Soul. It was my mom. <laughs> Thank you, mom. <laughs> and now we're over 162,000 followers in a few years. So I just want you to know that that didn't start with 162,000 followers. That started with one. And it started with being consistent. It started with baby steps. It started with, with highs and lows. It started with, you know, me crying and, and going, is this ever going to work? Is, are people going to ever want to do this? Is, is, you know, are people going to, you know, be able to get help? Am I going to be able to help them? Am I the person who can help them? Like all those fears go through my head just like they go through yours. But I promise if you keep trying, just like in this book, if you're just jumping on, make sure you rewind it. If you keep trying, it will get better and you'll get better and you'll get more confident. So I hope this helps you. And um, yeah, um, Victoria says, yes, baby steps for me and I will be there. I'm on three years now, but I will be fine with the baby steps. Yes, everybody has their own, own timeline. 
everybody has their own timeline. But I promise you, if, if this is something you really want, like we, life, life is going to happen. Time is going to pass regardless. So just take that next step. Okay, y'all. I love y'all so much. I'm so glad you were here. If you want to get a copy of this book, I wish I had an affiliate link for it because I feel like so many people are buying it. So yeah, I get, I'm not getting a sale off of this. I just loved it. And I thought I would share it with you. So it's called Trying by Kobe Yamada. And then the one I read a couple weeks ago is called What Do You Do With An Idea? And it's by the same guy. And um, I'm a person who loves hardbacks. And then I take these off. I take off the, the jackets. And I love having them without the jackets. I don't know why. It's a weird thing. Every book I buy, I take the jackets off <laughs> and I throw them away. All right. I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope you have a great weekend. We have some really fun plans this weekend. So um, I hope you all have a great weekend and you enjoy it. And um, anybody who wants to learn more, if you want to be there for the January 5th training, it's a free training. The first hour is a free training, and then I'm going to do q and I'll answer any of your questions. And then I'm going to talk about Paint Party Outer Limits, which we only offer once a year. It's an eight-week course, fully immersive. I, you will be sick of me because I will be teaching you so much about online, this online world that most of the world does not understand as far as the business side goes. So if you want to be a part of that, just put online or online training if you want to get it texted to you so you do not miss it, I will actually text you while I'm like live doing the training. Text this number, 817-373-5478. Text the word online, and then you're going to get a link to sign up for it. And then when I go live on January 5th at 1 p.m. Central, you will get a text saying, I am live right now, be there. And then I'm going to train you on some really cool stuff. So you're actually going to bring a notepad, a pen. You're going to get takeaways, whether or not you take outer limits or not, you will get takeaways from that training. So don't miss it. Okay. All right, guys, I can't wait for y'all to be there for it. And I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. And my fingers can never touch this part. So it gets awkward. It gets awkward trying to end it. <laughs> I can't ever hit it in. <laughs> I don't know why I did.